Make sure you study your properties very carefully, and we want to write this as a single logarithm. If you have any coefficients, first take a moment. Now let me write my first term down, log base 5 of x. This coefficient of 3, I'm going to rewrite this as log base 5 of x raised to a power of 3. That's by a property of logarithms minus log base 5 of x plus 1. So don't forget, first get rid of coefficients by moving them in the exponent position. And now, notice I have a log of something plus a log of something. Don't forget, the sum of logarithms is the log of the product. So because these bases are the same, just looking at the first two terms, this is log base 5 of x times x cubed, and then minus log base 5 of x plus 1. Now let's continue. Notice I have a log minus a log. The difference of logs, remember, is the log of the quotient. So I will write this as the log of the quotient. This is my numerator. Let's go ahead and write that as x to the fourth over, this is my denominator, x plus 1, and the base stays as base 5. So as a single logarithm, this is log base 5, x to the fourth over x plus 1.